Hi, I'm Dean Bubbly. I'm an industry analyst and commentator covering pretty much everything in telecoms and a fair amount of other technology areas as well. First thing is we should, we should be enabling and advocating for these new network owner types, not just traditional telcos, but also new telcos, startups, um, you know, enterprises building their own networks, sometimes maybe governments or municipalities, the involvement of private equity and others. We should look for new pools of investment. If you think that there is a shortage of CapEx uh, investment, um, we should be looking for other organizations to be spending money, um, not just the traditional operators. In a way, we should be encouraging the evolution of mammals uh, and not just protecting the dinosaurs. We need to think about better metrics and KPI. A lot of the things we, we look at, whether that's around coverage, around usage of networks, whether it's in gigabytes or minutes, are very, very old statistics. We should be using the, the metrics and the KPIs that actually relate to the real world and to end users. So, for example, for mo mo mobile coverage, don't just think about people. Think about things, about buildings, about indoors as well as outside, um, road link, uh, roadways, fields rural areas, not just population coverage, because um, you know, in an era of connectivity for everything, as well as every person and every business, we need to have better numbers to track that. We should be thinking about using policy sandboxes and test beds a lot more. A lot of people have good ideas. Um, often they come from a point of view of an idealistic vision. We should be looking to trial things in the real world. Um, whether that's around spectrum policy or whether it's internet access or a variety of other things. Let's not just sort of go straight from an idea or a speech to policy. Let's have a, a full and formal test uh, approach. The last one around enablement is look at how and where mergers and consolidation make sense, um, but also we don't, don't want to force it into sectors or for organizations that are unsuitable to um, combine their historic business with new areas. In terms of things to avoid, don't be hung up on specific technologies, whether that's 5G, whether that's fiber and something else. Often they are um, you know, very, very good innovations, but they're not universally applicable. So we need to think about the role, for example, of Wi-Fi or IoT connectivity or satellite. There may well be, uh, in some cases, wired connectivity still makes sense, for example, in factories and in buildings, because you need to deliver power as well as connectivity. So have an open mind and don't fall prey to hype uh, about specific technologies, because you know, that way we can sometimes end up with harmful path dependency effects. Um, we should be thinking about targets, and particularly digital decade targets. They need a review and rethink. Some of them were set five or even 10 years ago, and they haven't kept up to date with our current thinking about the early stages of deployment of 5G, about the way that people use broadband and fiber, and the new technologies that are around to supplement or extend those. So we have to think about the role of satellite, but also re reconsider the broadband targets of what does a gigabit mean? Why is it a gigabit rather than 700 meg or 1.3 gig? It's a big round number, but is it the right round number? Um, I would also say that edge computing targets in particular need to be rethought or ditched because they don't align with how people actually use compute and cloud these days. Um, we should avoid the assumption of convergence between things that are different. Sometimes they coexist or live alongside each other, but they don't actually overlap. So for example, cloud and connectivity have important roles to play together, but they are not the same thing. Neither are private networks and public networks. And so we need to think, of, look at the overlaps. But if you think about it from a, uh, yeah, an, an, an analogy point of view, um, we often combine um, running, cycling, and swimming into triathlons, we shouldn't have the same rules for all of them. Actually, on the topic of analogies, we need to avoid bad analogies. And so, in particular, level playing field makes no sense unless everyone's playing the same sport. It's a, Generally, it should be a red flag whenever you hear that term. I'd also be aware of any um, metaphors around the use of liquids relating to communication. So often you hear people talk about spectrum pipelines or data flowing. It's very, it's very um, seductive and easy to use those terms, but they're often inaccurate. Fundamentally, the way that atoms, water, flows is very different to information or bits or photons and electrons. And we need to think about the physical world rather than just leaping for what looks like a convenient analogy because they're often uh, flawed. And the last one I would say to be aware of is don't break the internet. Um, it works. Um, it's not perfect. There are certainly issues around privacy and 
um, you know, aggressive marketing and, and so on. But fundamentally, the internet has been one of the most important um, commercial and educational and government innovations uh, over the last four decades. And we should be avoiding um, to, you know, mechanisms which look to undermine its success, uh, either in terms of regionally, globally, uh, or at a local level. Um, and with that goes to uh, account for cloud as well as content. We should be thinking through the, the role of applications and also ask and talk to the developers involved in creating internet services because they often have a very different view of what they expect from networks. Thank you very much.